Um, also, speaking about games that um, are supposedly coming out as well, um, Ams said yesterday that GTA 6, apparently leaks have come out or whatever. <laughs> yeah, new leaks have come out about GTA 6, claiming that the game's going to come out in 2023 October, or that's the supposed window or whatever. And apparently it's meant to be based in Fire City, um, where you might be using the guy's father. And Multiple you years, start using the guy. Yeah, it goes over the years with a chapter system like Red Dead Redemption or whatever. For me, I think it's absolute nonsense. The the <laughs> least, I think I think it's absolute BS to be honest here. Yeah, but yeah. but I mean, obviously, leaks like this come out all the time. But the person has apparently gone into some detail about certain things or whatever in it. But um, I don't know. Do you think that GTA Six could be coming out in twenty twenty three? I mean, GTA Five, the remastered edition, whatever it's called, the enhanced edition, is coming out middle of this year. Do you think yeah. they're still going to be focusing on GTA 5 for now? Or even possibly a Red Dead Redemption remaster or something like that? Or do you think GTA 6 could actually be coming out in the next two years? I think if they've uh, been... Um, if they've been working on a Red Dead Redemption remaster to come out before then, they've that game is already in development and they're quite a way through it. I think 2023 is a realistic release date because it's 10 years since the last one. And mm. no one's playing GTA 5 single player anymore. Mm-hmm. So I think they need to get something else out. Maybe online, they don't have to do the online. Maybe online, GTA 5 can continue until they're ready for GTA 6 online. Mm-hmm. But I think, I think the, Oh, God. I was, was going to say, I feel like the timeline fits, though. But it's too easy. Like, 10 years on it is yeah, so yeah, easy yeah, to yeah. call that. Like, I, mm-hmm. could, I could write... I might even might uh, put out a leak tomorrow saying, just to get uh, some credibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it could have been one of us. We don't have the leak, source but... right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it would make more sense. Um, you know, that game has made them so much money. We already know the remaster is coming for GTA Five onto the PS5. So, and the next step would only make sense to do that for Red Dead. Red Dead had a really good um, following... Um, I, I don't know about you, but I, I feel like you agreed with me, Ams. I, I didn't enjoy the multiplayer as much as I did with GTA, but I've had a lot of people tell me they enjoyed that multiplayer a lot more. So mm. there is um, a lot of room I for think, that anyway. I, think I the would Red play Dead that story again. Sorry. Sorry, God. I, say, I think the Red Dead multiplayer is an overall better package, but yeah. it's harder to get into and it's a lot slower. So yeah, like stuff yeah. like the bounty hunt of stuff and mm-hmm. picking a path in life, I think it's more thought out. It's just less people care about it because it's slower paced. Mm. Yeah. Whereas GTA, you can jump on now and you can just decide to cause a whole heap of terrorism, <laughs> or you can just live <laughs> live your days out as a normal person or whatever. And yeah. so, um, whereas with yeah with Red Dead, it's kind of like you're starting so slow. You don't have anything. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not really moving. It's more methodical. Yeah. Like, the guns, you don't have an AK-47 to just blow yeah. people away. You have to yeah. have normal guns. No all the guns. Cars, nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, I think, yeah, so I was saying the timeline makes sense because why would I, why would I go and make a new game when I know, I know you're going to buy my, my old game again. 100%. I yeah. know you, I know you're going to buy yeah. it. I am not buying GTA 5 ever again. <laughs> 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 to yeah. play the same well, story, not happening. Well, well, well uh, GTA uh, Online is meant to be free and when it comes out on um, PS5, in it? So, oh, online, okay. I, I can download it if it's a big improvement. Mm. But online has thing. add-ons, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, there you go. Why would you make it free? Mate. You've got to continue to play it. You're, <laughs> you're, I mean? you're buying shark cards for like £65 and stuff like that. Yeah. So This is what I'm saying. So, mate, that's more I than mean, an actual game. Yeah. Mm. I, I feel like they could go wrong bringing out a new game, if that makes sense. Mm. It could go so left. Mm. They know everyone will buy it, but it will be, I think it will still be kind of like, um, what's a good example? I want to say pro clubs, where it's like everyone has bought a PlayStation 5. You can play FIFA, the upgraded version, but you're still playing the PS4 one because yeah, most yeah, people because are everyone that. still has it, yeah. Like, I feel like if you brought out GTA 6, yeah, everyone will buy it. They'll play single player, but ultimately, everyone has so much put into online on GTA 5. Yeah, like they're going to continue to play it. Yeah, for, for like even yeah. now, yeah. like yeah. the younger generation, most people are going to get a, P- a, a PS5 or an Xbox, and this t- first thing they're going to do is download Fortnite. Yeah, like you mean, there's some games that they take to people. It will be a long time for their 
for them to even bring out multiplayer anyway, mm, mm. and then for people to grab onto it to that scale, yeah, I think true. it would take. I think it would take a long time. I think it's more about the reputation of the company mm. in terms of releasing the new game. You want to be the because they're the company who releases these big games. They're always super polished. They're always coming out nine, ten out of ten. I think to keep that reputation going and not just become the company that makes online games to sell things. Mm. Mm. Um, to keep the prestige of the company, you have to release something new. They released Red Dead. Um, that put them back on top. Um, they need to keep doing it. And it, obviously, it makes them a lot of money. People don't wait for those games. They don't wait for a sell. They buy yeah. them straight away, full price. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who has an Xbox and Series X buys um, £70 pound GTA 6, you're making yeah. stupid money. Mm-hmm. So I think it's worth releasing a new game. Even if people only play it for a little while, they've, you've got their money. Mm-hmm. So yeah. to what do you think that's a, a... Is it a realistic date without any kind of back office news or any kind of promotion that started for it? Or is it just that it's 10 years, it's the easiest date to pick? I, I think it can be a realistic date, but it, it's, it's just easy to just put out something two years time like like for the leaker yeah. they, they, they could yeah. easily just say yeah, it's coming yeah. out to you oh we're aiming for two years time mm-hmm. and then oh we might get delayed or oh, blah blah, blah. <laughs> and anyone can write that to be honest yeah so because because my thing yeah. is that if, if you've had um gta 5 i don't feel like you've had 10 years worth of time to develop gta 6 mm. it's you bought out gta 5 10 years ago in that time you've brought out multiple DLCs for that game. Yeah. Mm. Um, you brought out the multiplayer for that game. Yeah. Then you brought out Red Dead. Yeah. You know what I mean, like there's, you've been in development continuously throughout that time. Mm-hmm. So I think that once that decision is made for GTA 6, obviously a decision yeah, will probably yeah. be made a long time ago. But mm. the, like like they said with Cyberpunk, the game was decided years ago. Yeah. They've never really started development. Yeah, so well, they, uh, they, so they restarted it in 2016. Mm. I think with Rockstar, where you've got such a huge team, you can put a smaller team to develop for these other games and then move yeah. the when it's time you move the bulk of your developers over to GTA 6 and leave the smaller teams developing for those other games yeah yeah. because that's your priority now and also they, they're they very good at stopping big leaks of the game mm-hmm. so like their games they start the promotion on what a year before it comes out yeah possibly two out of push but they're mm. good at promoting the yeah, game yeah. here and then it's out yeah, keeping it quiet. Yeah, so um, right, man, they must have some serious uh, legal things with their with see, their, all their development listen, team. Right? Serious NDAs. You have to sign that. Is it NDAs? Yeah, 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 yeah blah, blah. NDAs. <laughs> yes. Why? Yeah, yeah. Because they don't have no leaks from none. They, I'm none just saying, like, how can you, you would, I'm, how could you even trace company, it back to me that far? A company but that like, big. Yeah. I'm not mm. risking it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, risking. Um, yeah. And to be honest, I think as well, a lot of the people that work for them are happy working for Rockstar yeah. as well. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's very unlikely that you're going to hear people Ruining start leaking. Yeah, else. of course not. Yeah, mm. yeah, just, yeah. They're putting their time and effort into it. So, but ho- hopefully um, that is the case. It's coming out in two years' time. But we will keep you updated as soon as we hear more news as well. Mm. Uh, My biggest GTA worry 6. for GTA Six is all the original guys are gone. So will it be the same? Oh, the original developers. Well, yeah, yeah Dan like House the, has gone. Yeah, so yeah. um, all the rock star guys have left. Yeah. So will they be able to get the same quality? Because a lot of it came from their minds. Mm. Well, it will just be something that we have to wait and see. But I guess if they've kept the same kind of developers as well, we should expect a, a polished game. Um, hopefully they've got some great story writers as well. Um, mm. so. Yeah, I, I mean, there's not really much that can be said until we actually no. get any more news on it. To yeah, so I, I, I think it's just, everything is leaked information, mm. supposed leaked information. So yeah. we'll be going on bluffs. But I mean, I saw the bit that said you know sixty hours worth of uh, Gameplay, the campaign. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, I could throw uh, any number in the air. Do you know what I mean? Like, I play it either way, innit? <laughs> I've got to play it. <laughs> so yeah, like you said, man, we'll wait for some some real news on that, and hopefully. Yeah, it will come soon. 